Hi guys and ladies. Two years ago I made low carb blackened bass fish sandwiches. They were delicious and I'm craving them again. Well, with a twist this time. So I picked up all the ingredients I need. Uh, uh, except one, the fish. Let's get out there and try for some fresh bass. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. I'm expecting more than this. 10 inches, let's throw it back. As soon as it hit the water. <laughs> this is ridiculously small, but it's bigger than the other ones I've been catching. This one is filetable and edible. It's the size we need to remove from the lake anyway. There's just too many of them. I'm keeping everything. I'm desperate for food. Let me show you what I'm using. I started with a plastic worm, but the water is just too muddy from just incessant flooding rains. So I went to something with a little more pizzazz. It's a spinnerbait, a little spinnerbait. Not a half ounce, not a quarter ounce. This guy is only one eighth ounce. I don't remember the name. It's probably Strike King, but I'll have it in the, in the notes below. Finally though, I'm getting a couple of little fish. Stay on. Yeah, finally, <laughs> okay. Just the kind I'm looking for. Under 12 inches, but over 10. Good enough, good enough. Food, black and bass sandwiches. Right at the boat. <laughs> it's a big bluegill. That's not what I'm out for, but look how beautiful it is. I'll keep him to fillet. Right away. As soon as it hits the water. Good enough, good enough. Yeah. I got, I got hung up in a tree, yet I caught a bass. <laughs> and a skinny one, one that needs to be eaten by me. Looky here, I didn't catch anything big today because of the muddy water, but I've got enough for the recipe. Let's get in the house and fillet these guys and tomorrow we'll fix up sandwiches of blackened bass. The constant rains we've been having caused Lake Kitcher Big One to be muddy and fishing was tough. Well, even so, we were able to catch enough fish for our recipe. The little bass alone produced over a pound of these nice 
fillets. Let's get going on our blackened bass sandwiches. This is a Paula Deen recipe. It calls for a cup of mayo to make cilantro lime mayonnaise. So that's about a cup. I'm supposed to add a quarter cup of cilantro chopped. This should be about right. This little package I bought. Let's see now, one tablespoon of fresh lime juice. That should be about this, a half a lime. And let's see. Oh, goodness, yes. Oh, this smells so good, like spring. Oh, so fresh. Let's just put this in the fridge and get on with the fish. We're supposed to dip our fish into melted butter before we blacken it. But I noticed that the cilantro lime mayo had a goodly amount of salt in it already. So what I've decided to do was melt half a stick of unsalted butter and a half a stick of salted butter. That should hit the, the right balance. Let me microwave this. This is what we'll do. We'll take our bass fillets, we'll dip it in the melted butter like this. And then into the sheet pan. Let's continue. You know, a lot of these blackened recipes have you making your own spice rub, your own blackening seasoning. But look what I found. This is from Spiceology. And salt is the last ingredient on the list, so it's not too salty. It's going to be just right because I tasted it. I, you know, I licked my uh, my my hand with the mm -hmm, on there, and it's really really good. So let's apply this to both sides. Really good. I'm finding out that it won't stay on unless you use your hands to rub it in, and that's the best way. Rub it in there. Here I am outside, but not knowing quite what I'm doing. I've got a grill on pretty high, and look at this. Inside is a cast iron skillet, and here's our leftover butter. Let's pour some of it in. Now let's blacken some of these fish. Let's go two minutes, and we'll flip it. Another two minutes. That's close enough to two minutes on each side. Oh, oh, they look really, really good. Let's put some big ones in here. Oh, the aroma. Oh. Siri, remind me to flip the fish in one minute and 13 seconds. My bouncy baby blackened bass turned out beautiful. These really do look quite good. I'm going to put these in the oven just on warm, and then I'll work on finishing the sandwiches. I have low-carb bread here, and I'm just going to butter it real well. More butter. This recipe doesn't use enough butter. Let's see, how to make toast. Press toast. Toast. Then start. Hey, I'm pretty good with technology. Time to make our sandwiches. Cilantro lime mayo. Blackened fish pineapple salsa. I couldn't find mango. This has some carbs in it, but nothing else does. I've got everything on warm in the oven, so I can tell you now that the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, has accepted my invitation to dinner tonight, and I'm so thrilled. Uh, but I should calm down. You see, after all, we've been seeing each other for millennia, yet she seems reluctant to marry me. I don't know why she hesitates. At our age, I think I'm as good as any man she's ever going to find. If only I could show her that I'm the one to choose. 
I'm honored to be here again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much for dining with me tonight here at my dull, dumpy, double wide. And well, you had a chance to intently ingest my black and bass sandwiches and I'm really eager to know what you thought of them. They were very, very good. I enjoyed both of them. I did take seconds. I thought they were moist. I thought the flavor of the fish was very mm, good. Yeah. I enjoyed the salsa and the bread was Even very bread. well done. It was good. <laughs> Even it the bread came a, out. A very nice combination. Low carb bread. It was a treat. Yes, good. Thank you so mm. much. You know, Miss Cheeks, oh, I, I can say Lulu now. Right. I've been thinking how most women look so hard for the right husband, sort of like, you know, pumpkins. <laughs> they search and search for the ideal one and finally they bring it home. Yeah, and the next thing you know, they're looking for a knife. Huh? Oh. Can I have a hug?